Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Many thanks to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crown Sports. Very much appreciated, as always. Today I've got a nice simple scene for you, like simple countryside scene set in winter. I try to keep it as fuss free as possible, I try to do it in the fewest strokes that I possibly could. So, before I go any further, let me show you the colours I've used for this one. So, if I just get the palette the right way around. Now, for this one, I've used Ultramarine, Lizarin Crimson, Raw Sienna, and Burnt Umber. They're all cotton and watercolours. And then the brushes got the large Ron Ranson Hake. And then I'll just use a couple of little riggers there, zero and a number three. Well, then, kick it off with a bit of water. It's a nice simple sky. I'm going to take a bit of raw sienna. Put that down into the land area. Take a bit of ultramarine. Add a bit of crimson to that. Just something over there. I'm going to take those same colours again, a bit of each. And then about just right up there somewhere. Just pop in. Top of the hill, and then there's a few fields divided by the hedges there. as it comes down just the bottom of the hill well, let's clean the brush Yeah, that all from I'm just going to put a few distant trees in there, I think. Let's get a little bit lighter. And a few over here as well. It's very, very simply put in. A bit of crimson, a bit of blue in there as well. Back to the, I must pop a little bit of burnt umber in there as well. Down into this corner. Take the rigger brush. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. A nice, nice tree up there. A bit stronger. Let's bring it down and touch as well. Got another one just behind there. 
of things down the side here. Screen the brush, take the excess off on the tea towel. I'm just gonna just try to brush a little bit of a little bit of foliage on there. stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull it tight before I go any further and then continue in that middle ground coming down right to the foreground so let's clean the brush again take a little bit of ultramarine just a touch of burnt umber I'm just going to quickly sweep that in touch of crimson too much that was actually. Just calm that down a little bit, clean the brush back into the rust. Yeah. Just saving a lot of little space there for our little man. Um, big fence post. I'm just going to take that out like that with a damp brush. And then another one, another one there. I'll come back to that in a minute. For now let's just a little bit of oh, sienna underneath. Now I'm going to pop the path in now, so I'm just going to take a bit of crimson, a bit of ultramarine and then I'm just going to very very quickly just sweep it round Continues over there, and then we've just got a little bit of dark on this side. Again, a little bit of dark on this side. Just darken some of that. Another little element in there. Um, clean 
want to see those trunks over there, so I'm just going to pop some in there. shadow cutting across there. Ooh. Right, let's make sure this is flat. I just need to pop in our little man. A little man and his dog. So I've just painted that simply as I possibly could. And I'll switch to the oh, doing that. I'll stop leaving me brushes in the water. Um It'd be a lot easier if I just draw it. I'm just going to quickly draw it. Okay. And I think I'm just just about there. I think. Um, little bird in the sky, and I'm going to call that one finished. I'm going to sign my name over this. Right then, that's that one done. Let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So here's the finished painting, the main. So if we go and have a closer look at it, started with a very, very simple sky, just a bit of raw sienna, a bit of ultramarine, and then there was a bit of alizarin crimson added on this side, just for those clouds right at the back. And use those same colours just to suggest a hillside there with white fields in between the hedges. Put it nice and light so that when we start, imagine there's like a sort of valley then, and then land sort of comes back up just to this ridge where our little man's stand with his dog and then you've got these trees and hedges just along that side there same trees over on the left hand side as a path sort of sweeps its way around and then some very very simple fence posts just put in with a damp 
height just to remove the paint and then just put a bit of dark colour on the one side so it looks like a bit of light and shadow dark cross pieces, a bit of shadow underneath and then again a bit more shadow could have done a bit better with that, made a little bit of a mess of that, not to worry a bit of dry brush there, a bit of foliage and then our little man there and his dog don't forget their shadow as well and then just put a little bit of darks on the other side just to match the, match the tones up a little bit so a nice little countryside scene there for you to have a go I hope you enjoyed that thanks as always for watching thanks for your support over on Patreon very much appreciated patreon.com slash Stephen Crown if you'd like to take a look so if you've got any questions please ask keep practicing and happy painting <laughs>